Good morning, friends. Welcome to this morning vinyasa flow for body and spirit. In this class, we will be working with the whole body, awaken the body, get really clear in the mind and in our spirit, and get ready for a really good day. You don't need any special props for this class. If you happen to have yoga blocks at home and this is something that you enjoy using, you could take them, but I will show you everything without any props. My name is Yeni. Warmest welcome on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so quickly. It only takes a second. And then let's get right into our practice. We begin our practice today in a comfortable cross-legged seat. If you prefer to sit on a prop, a block or a blanket, you could do so. You want to make sure that you can sit nice and tall in your spine and relax the shoulders and the groins and the knees and find this comfortable seat that promotes alertness and mindfulness. And then I want to invite you to close the eyes. If you're not comfortable with closing the eyes, just lower the gaze, just rest the gaze down, withdraw for a moment from the screen and from your surroundings and turn inwards. We begin today with a little breathing practice. So start and become really aware of your breath without influencing it too much just take some smooth and long breaths don't force anything it doesn't have to be super deep just long and velvety breaths in and out through the nose good now begin and inhale slowly through your nose and while you do so, at the same time, pull the muscles between your legs in and up for your root lock, your mula bandha. When you exhale, you release those muscles in the lower body. We do that again. You inhale through the nose, and at the same time, you squeeze those muscles in and up, the same muscles you use for intercourse or elimination. And on the exhale, you release the muscles and the air flows out. We go a bit further, you inhale through the nose, squeeze the muscles between the legs in and up, draw that lower belly in, that upper belly in, and on your exhale, release. And we keep going for a couple of rounds, inhaling, squeezing your inner muscles, and exhaling, releasing. And what this does is we bring all this energy that might be stuck in the body, maybe even some emotions, we bring them up with the breath, and so the energy that enters the body with the breath can be spread in the body. You can visualize your spine as this tube of energy. So when you squeeze those muscles in and up, you send the energy all the way along the spine, all the way up to the highest point of your head. You can visualize that while you do that. Still smooth breaths. Inhaling, squeezing your inner muscles, sending all that energy up the spine to the top of your head. Exhale, release. So three more breaths. Inhale, engage, grow taller, send the energy up. And exhale, release. Okay, two more. Inhale, bring all the energy up. Exhale, release. Last time. Inhale, all the air in, squeeze those muscles and at the top, hold the breath for a moment. Just as long as you're comfortable, squeeze those inner muscles. Feel that energy rushing up, awakening the body, your mind and your spirit. And once you're ready, open the mouth, release the muscles and let it go. Beautiful. Return to your natural flow of breath. Or introduce a soft ujjayi if this is something you practice. Gentle narrowing of the back of the throat, creating a little hissing sound, some warmth from the inside. And with your eyes still closed or slightly cracked open, if you're not sure, drop your right ear to the right shoulder and make some half circles forward, chin towards the chest, all the way over, half circle to the left ear is over the left shoulder. Do this for a couple of rounds, roll the head forward softly, all the way over to the right side and then come back. We just want to make sure we prepare the body and awaken it for our practice. It's the two more rounds. Roll the head over. Good. Feel free to blink the eyes open softly if you need some more outside input from the screen. 
and then lift the head good job roll the shoulders a couple of times up and back and down and forward and then change the direction good job getting all the kinks out of those joints very good and then release the shoulders send the arms up give yourself a nice big stretch and then side bend to the right side right hand goes down left arm pulls over the body we stay here inhale create some more space and exhale good inhale send the arms up stretch and exhale second side create a lot of space with your breath inhale into the side body and exhale becoming a bit more stable here good job inhale send it up and exhale this time we twist over to the right side the spine stays long the fingertips come down gently stay and reach even taller on the inhale and exhale open up good one more good inhale send the arms up give yourself a lot of space big stretch and exhale change the sides we stay in the twist inhaling the spine long and exhaling twisting twists are wonderful to wake up the body and our metabolism nice little massage for the center of the body as well inhale send the arms up and exhale send the arms forward and now round the back i will turn to the side so you see me and then lift the knees up pull the heels in your lower legs are still crossed make yourself all small pull the heels in the feet in if this is too much keep the toes down but really feel the center of the body awakening now good let's stay soft in the face stay soft in the breath let's take another deep breath here and then pull the heels in roll over the lower legs uncross the legs and from here step back into a downward facing dog you can take a moment to measure in your planks so shoulders over wrists heels over toes and then hips up good job take it easy in your downward facing dog shake the head a couple of times yes and no to release any tension in the neck move your jaw nobody sees you feel free to squeeze the face open the mouth stretch the tongue out good job heels alternately down to the ground lengthening out the back of the legs good take the feet a bit wider than hip distance bend the knees and then drop both heels over to the left side so left inside uh, outside edge of the left foot comes down right inside edge and then you send the hips even further up for your up dog no your down dog sorry and then open up the side body so now you push the right hip and the right shoulder apart and open up that side body good job come back to center you can come onto the tiptoes and pivot the heels over to the right side and then again send the hips up you can bend the knees and open the space between the left hip and the left shoulder breathe into there so delicious to have a big stretch in the morning good come back to center bend the knees send the hips even higher arms even stronger lower belly draws in downward facing dog stay or maybe extend the legs slightly good deep breath in full breath out good job inhale roll forward into a high plank shoulders over wrists and exhale send the knees down float all the way down onto your belly point the toes roll the shoulders back for your cobra open up the heart space and exhale tuck the toes and come back over the knees into your downward facing dog Good. one more inhale roll it forward we're warming up the body exhale with or without the knees lower all the way down to the ground inhale offer the heart cobra activate the back exhale downward facing dog feel free to use the knees good look forward take two big steps or many small ones to the top of your mat for half forward fold bend the knees come onto the fingertips lengthen through the back and exhale fold all the way down one more inhale long back exhale fold good inhale long back half lift exhale bend the right knee knee to elbow lift the right heel we're opening up inhale for a twist you can stay on the right fingertips your upper body opens up to the left side spine stays long inhale here and exhale one more inhale on the exhale fold back down changing the sides left knee bends in left heel lifts and on the inhale the right arm goes up so really twist the upper body open right leg gets a nice stretch if it's too much keep the knees soft 
gut. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. And exhale, bring everything back down. One more. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, fold down. Come to standing, take the arms over the side as if you were going to gather a lot of energy. And on the exhale, you bring it down in front of the heart, center into your mountain pose, Tadasana. Good. Inhale, send the arms over the side. Again, big, generous movement. Exhale, fall through the center, deep forward fold. You can keep the knees soft. The head can just hang down. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, step back into your high plank pose. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, with or without the knees. You could go all the way down, maybe half if you feel ready for your Chaturanga. Inhale, open up in your Cobra or your Up Dog. And exhale, downward facing Dog. Good job. Inhale here. Exhale, step the feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the right leg for a scorpion leg. So heel goes to bum, knee points up. It's okay if your chest spirals open slightly, but keep the left knee pointing forward and keep the arms strong. Now circle the ankle a couple of times in the one direction. We want to get all those joints moving and then circle it the other way around. Draw big circles into the air with your knee. Open up the hip wide as much as you can. And then circle it the other way around. Good job. Now, back to your three-legged dog. Close the hip, long right leg. And then pull the right knee forward to your right upper arm, shoulders over wrist. Squeeze it in. Inhale, bring it back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, across the body, over to the left side, right knee, left upper arm. Tap. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale again, right knee to the right upper arm. Now hold it here, inhale it higher. And then exhale, step the right foot onto the outside of the right hand. Might need to adjust a little bit. Bring the left knee down. Left hand stays, right arm opens up, easy twist. We stack the shoulders, maybe you wanna look after your right hand. Good job, inhale here. And exhale, open up the chest to the side. So again, you have a little bit of a twist and a little bit of a back bend. So right arm goes parallel to the ground. We'll activate the left back of the thigh and then we pull the heel in. You might need to cushion your knees, see if that works for you, without grabbing the foot and then place it back down. Good. Inhale, bend it. And exhale, release. And I know we don't do that very often, so it might feel a bit crampy. That's okay, bend it. And release just as far as you can. Last one. Bend it in as if you were going to grab the foot. And then release, tuck the toes, send the right arm up. Release the left knee, come high in your chest. Good. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left knee down, right arm behind the body. One more time, pull it in and you might want to stay here. You might want to release or if you can make that bind, grab a hold of your ankle or the back of your foot. Push the foot into the hand rather than pulling the heel in and open the chest. Good job. Feel that left groin opening, the quad. And again, if it's too much, just stay here. Everybody feels different in the morning. This might feel delicious to some and too intense for some. So just make it your own. See what works today. Good. Let's take one more breath here. Create some space. And don't just let that foot drop, but activate the back of the leg. Send the right arm up and then bring the right hand down underneath the right shoulder. Lift that left knee, squeeze that right knee in, release the foot, hold it for a moment, step it back, high plank. Inhale, exhale, lower all the way, take your time onto the belly. Inhale, cobra, tops of the feet down. Exhale, this time release the hands of the ground. We really want to activate the back. Tilt the palms to face up and pull the elbow points back towards each other and the shoulder blade points rather. Also back and down, so really open the chest. Press the pubic bone down. Let's take two more breaths here. Back bends are a wonderful way to awaken the body. Good. And on your next exhale, you release the hands down, forehead down, tuck the toes, and come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step the feet together. 
Inhale, left leg up into the step. Exhale, bend it for scorpion leg. Again, adjust your position. You can keep the right leg bent always or stretch it more for lengthening the back of the leg. Left ankle circles one way. And then the other, awakening that left ankle and foot. Circle the right hip. So big circles with the knee in the air. Lubricating all of our joints for this day. And then circle it the other way around. Good. Now close the hip, three-legged dog, left point, toes point down. Knee comes forward, shoulders come forward, left knee, left upper arm. Squeeze it in. In a three-legged dog, long back, long leg. Exhale, cross the body, right upper arm, and tap. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left upper arm, squeeze it in, and then step the left foot outside of the left hand. Feel free to adjust. Ankle wants to be under the knee. Right knee comes down, maybe you wanna cushion it. Right hand stays under the shoulder, lift the left arm up, good. Don't sink into that right shoulder, but really lift up with intention to grow towards the ceiling, and then pull the arm back. Open the chest. Good. Flex that right foot, bend it in just as much as it works for you now, and release. Bend it in, and place it back down. Coming and going, same intention and attention. Bend it in, and release. Last one. Bend it in, and place it back down. Left arm goes up, release the right heel, press away from the floor, and breathe. Maybe look into the upper hand or that's okay for your neck. One more breath here. And then place the right knee down, left arm behind the body, bend the knee in, or feel free to stay, you know your options. Maybe grab a hold of the ankle or the back of the foot wherever you reach. Spiral the chest open to the left side. And just breathe. And again, breathe into these areas of sensation. Don't exaggerate, don't force. Good. Last deep breath here. And then again, before you let go, if you've taken the bind, flex the foot, place it down carefully, send the left arm up and back down underneath the left shoulder. Lift the right knee. You can turn the left foot out like a blinker. It makes it a bit easier. Squeeze that knee in, lift the foot, hold it for a moment, and then step it back. High plank, inhale. And exhale, with or without the knees, lower all the way down to the ground. Now this time, come onto the fingertips. Move them out of the mat and one line with the shoulders. And your elbows are pointing up to the sky. Press the tops of the feet down. Inhale, a bit of a bigger cobra. Exhale, drop that left shoulder in front of you. Look over your right shoulder. And just go as far as comfortable for your shoulders. So inhale, back to center. Exhale, chest twists to the left. Right shoulder comes down. Good. Inhale, come back up. This could be a small movement. Exhale here, or maybe you go all the way down, whatever works. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left side. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Flowy movement. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale, release. Good job. Hands on the shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale onto all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale. And exhale, step the feet together. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee forward, this time towards the center. Inhale, pull it up, press away from the ground. Exhale, step it through. Maybe help with the adjustment. Inhale, stand up for crescent lunge, arms alongside the ears. And stay for your exhale. Pull the feet towards each other on the ground. Really grow tall in the arms and the upper body. Inhale here. And exhale, lean forward, take the hands in front of the heart. So your body's diagonal to the ground. Now pull that lower belly in and up. We've already practiced that for some integrity. Step the left foot closer till you can slowly press up for your warrior three. Keep the chest broad. Keep your eyes resting on one point and breathe. Good. 
Now feel all those wobbly movements that your body is doing to support you, to balance you. Good. The active core will stand up on the inhale, pull the left leg through, and then hold it with both hands. Squeeze it in for a moment. Find your balance here. Good job. Bring the heel towards the bottom, grab a hold of the ankle or the back of the foot with your left hand, make sure your hips are leveled, send the right arm out in front of you, bring the index finger and the thumb together, the tips, for a little mudra, this is a bit of an energy circle, energy stays in the body and it gives us some sense of connection where we are, bend the standing leg, press into the hand with that left foot for your dancer pose. Good. Natarajasana. And you don't have to go super far. Try not to open the hip to the side. Keep your balance and breathe into that upper chest. It's kind of like a bow. So you're really opening up the body for this day. Every inhale gives you a lot of fresh energy. Good. Next inhale, stand back up. Exhale, squeeze the knee in one more time. Long lower back. Inhale here. Exhale, send it back and through for your warrior three. Maybe this time take your arms alongside the body. The thumbs are pointing up, opening the chest even more. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly bend the right leg, step it back. High lunge, inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down. Try without sliding, activate the core. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, with or without the knees, you can go all the way or half to the ground for Chaturanga. We keep flowing, inhale through the back bend and exhale into the downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in here and a full breath out, step the feet together. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull it forward, use the whole body. Inhale, meet your chest, press away from the ground. Exhale, step it through. High lunge, inhale, stand up, sweep the arms up. And exhale, arrive in your pose. Good. Neck is soft, jaw is soft. Create some space, feel that opening in the right groin. And then lean forward, hands together in front of the heart. Pull the shoulders back, draw that lower belly in and out. Keep that integrity and then bring the right foot closer till you can press up into your warrior three. And stay playful. This is a wonderful moment to practice for this day. Even if it might be a bit wobbly or challenging, just stay very soft. Just accept, go with it, try, and just see how it goes. Good. One more breath. And then stand up, pull the knee through, use the core, and take a hold of that knee. You can always take a rest if you wish to. If you lose your balance, just take a breath and come back in. And then bring the heel to the bum for your dancer pose. Grab a hold of the back of the foot or the ankle. Bend the standing leg slightly, left arm out in our mudra. Press with the foot into the hand rather than pulling it in. So you really get a lot of more, a sense of more stability and connection here. Good. And then send the leg back. Lean the upper body forward and it can just be a bit. It's still early in the morning. Breathe that fresh air, that fresh oxygen in. Feel it nourishing your body, giving you a lot of new energy. Good. Good. Last breath. And then stand up, pull the knee through as we did. Squeeze it in, long lower back. Good. One more time. Send it back for your warrior three. Maybe open the arms if that feels comfortable. And then slowly step it back. For your high lunge, send the arms up. And then bring the hands down. Inhale, step it back. Choose to stay in your dog or flow one more time all the way down. Or half chaturanga. Open the chest in your back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Take a deep breath in. And maybe sigh it out. Good job. Walk the feet towards the center of the mat. Open the feet wide. Turn the toes to point outward. Walk the hands and bend the knees. Sit low for your squat pose, Malasana. Now, if your heels come off the ground, that's completely fine. See if you want to prop them up. If they come down, they come down. If they're hovering, that's okay as well. 
Now bring your hands together in front of the heart center and then circle the wrist a couple of times in one direction and in the other. We don't want to forget about any joints. Good job. All this desk work you can do this in between as well. And then press the hands on top of each other. Open up the chest, let the bum sink down, press the knees actively against the elbows, not too harsh, but just to get that kind of integrity and that nice opening in the groins. Good job. Feel free to close the eyes or to rest the gaze down. One more time, feel that connection from the lowest point of your spine all the way to the crown of your head, that energy channel. Notice the breath flowing along that energy channel. Good. Last one. And then release the hands. Bring the fingertips behind you so you can sit down in a gentle way. Bring the soles of the feet together in front of you. Grab a hold around your ankles or around your feet. Interlace the fingers and then bounce the knees up and down a couple of times for a butterfly kind of motion to soften our hip joints, to get this energy flowing that might still be stuck in there. Old emotions, too much sitting. Let's let it all go. Good. And then relax the knees, send the heart up, and then forward for your bound angle pose, Bata Konasana. You want to try and keep your, nice, your back nice and long. Maybe you can make that connection of the elbows to the lower legs, but it's just an option. Don't press down. Again, it's just to build an energy circle and to feel more points of connection and maybe engage the legs just a little bit. And then focus on your breathing. Maybe close the eyes or again, lower the gaze. There are always moments in between where you can withdraw from the screen and check in with yourself. Am I still breathing smoothly? How does this pose feel? Am I holding tension in areas where I don't need that tension? Am I engaging muscles that I could to further feel that pose? Engage in that pose. Last breath. These are thoughts and questions that you can ask yourself during the day as well. We send the heels away from us, but the heels stay together. The feet can kind of open like a book and we send out our flesh behind us from the seats. You can really feel the sit bones on the ground. Now we will fold forward again. This time we're not holding on to anything. We're opening up the palms towards the sky, fingers relaxed, and the back can be rounded. So this means you can really just hang forward. And it doesn't quite matter if you're rather here or all the way down. It doesn't quite matter. I want you to really soften in this pose. So don't try to pull and to push and to make anything happen. The whole point of this pose is to relax and let go. So we can further open the hip joints. We can open the back without putting any pressure on it. So the energy can flow through the body. And we can use those moments to practice mindfulness. So even if those poses need less muscle strength than maybe the standing ones, we can try and practice our intentionality being present, noticing what's happening in the body, and noticing what's happening in the mind. Are the to-dos already rushing in? Can we bring the attention back to this moment? These are all things we can learn on our yoga mat, and we can take them later today off the mat into our day, being present, being patient. giving our best, but not being attached to any outcomes. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Maybe sigh it out. That should feel good. Okay, maybe press the hands into the ground to lift yourself up and use your hands to bring the knees together, stand the feet up, pull them a bit closer, open them a bit wider, lean onto the hands, drop the knees from side to side. Good job. Get one chill sweeper kind of motion to release any tension in the hip joints. 
and then bring the knees back to center. Make sure the feet are kind of hip distance apart. If you're not quite sure, extend the legs, put the feet where the knees just were. And then for your tabletop, send the hips up. You can bring the fingers pointing towards you or away, what's better for your shoulders. And then try and lift the pelvis high, almost as high so you can't see your knees anymore. Opening up those groins, stretching the belly, opening the chest. If it's okay for your neck, you can drop the head back down. If that's not feeling good, keep looking to your knees. And then we'll take three cleansing lion, lion's breaths. So we inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth and stick our tongue out and we dare to be loud. So inhale fully and then let it go. Two more, inhale and last one, inhale and everything out. Good job. In and lift the head first, look to your knees. Exhale, sit down on your mat. Cross your legs as we started the practice and bring your hands on your knees or on your thighs. Lengthen through the spine, close the eyes. Take this moment to feel the body after the practice. How does it feel now? Do you feel warmth or energy? Do you feel maybe any tingling sensations? How does the breath feel now? What's the atmosphere in your mind? And I want to invite you to take this last moment to name three words that you would like to live by today. It can be your intention for your day today. Anything that comes to mind. Patience, joy, ease, peace, compassion, whatever comes to your mind. Just repeat those three words that you want to live by today mentally for yourself. So throughout the day, you can come back to this intention. You can come back to this feeling you had after your yoga practice. Take a last cleansing breath in through the nose. Side out. Take your hands together, join the palms in front of the heart center. Bow the forehead down to the fingertips. Take a moment to express gratitude for yourself for taking the time for your practice this morning. Say thanks for your body, your health, the life that flows through you, and for this new day. When you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you so much for your practice. I hope you feel refreshed and ready for your day. I wish you a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a really good one.